Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another Spin Tires mod video. Now in this video we're going to be uh, just kind of doing a little bit of a mod review, something that I haven't done in a while. Most of the time it's just like driving around, kind of doing adventure type stuff. I haven't done a proper mod review um, in a good while and so I think it's about time that we, um, that we did another mod review because I kind of want to. And uh, this is a Suzuki Vitara. I'm not sure why I'm actually, like, I don't know. I'm not sure why I decided to actually pick this, but rear spare, uh, roof rack jack, high lift jack, snorkel, and bumper. Cool thing about this is that you can really outfit it. You can put a bunch of stuff on it. And before we leave the garage, I'm going to... Switch real quick to QM's um, uh, GMC, which the reason why I'm switching to that, or at least you know trying to check it out real quick, is because I saw it in the mod list and I realized I had never ever even you know like e even taken a look at it. And there's tons of options for this thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and look through them and just see what's here. So let's see, short logs trailer. Uh, pack trailer, medium cart, medium cart 2, uh, pack trailer, long cart, uh, gas 66 fuel, log rack, and then I guess you could put the logs on the logging rack, tow rig, which tow rig, oh, okay, so it basically turns into a tow truck in case you need to rescue anybody. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of want to see that. I like that, actually. That's kind of cool. Uh, trailer, which is in the ground for some reason. I'm not sure why. I wonder if I, well, I'm kind of wanting to spawn it just to see, but at the same time, I'm like, nah, probably shouldn't. Um, we've got these really long log trailers that we can use if we want to, um, and then all these other kind of little assortment of trailers that you can use. Where this gets really interesting is in its tire options, because its tire options are very, very varied. Um, the default ones are actually not the ones that, that it starts with, which is kind of weird. Um, it's got a setup of dually super swampers from the factory. You can go over to mud and snow 36s, mud and snow f uh, 40s, XMLs 46s, then um, I don't know what that is, spawn slash load uh, trailer. I don't know why that's in a you know, under the tire options, it doesn't really make any sense to me. Silverback 40s, which are like tractor tires, and then Silverback Dually 40s, which which is the other option. They're both they're kind of like tractor tires, but I'm actually going to go with the um, XML's 46s because that actually really it really looks good on the truck. I'm 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 pleased with it. So basically, the plan for this is if the Suzuki gets stuck. The plan is to use the GMC to rescue it, which we <laughs> we haven't really like we haven't really used it for that before. Um, but I'm just kind of using it as a backup plan in case the Suzuki does end up getting into some predicament that it can't get itself out of. Just work our way up the hill real quick. It's kind of getting. Eh, we go left. We go right. Let's go. Let's just stay straight ahead. We'll go straight ahead. And we'll see where this takes us. And we may end up not having to use the GMC. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Um, but I may just, I may get this thing stuck just so I can actually use the GMC for something and see how it is on the trails. We'll see. But that actually wasn't too, too bad. Okay, so this thing has mad grip. I am totally okay with this. This thing is awesome so far. And just kind of use the sidewall. Just really just get down the edge of that trail so you don't have to dip one side of the vehicle into the into the hole. I mean, you kind of can. I had to to work my way around that tree. But again, it's all kind of up to how you want to drive it. So Yeah, I would say that it's a really good uh it, it's a really good platform. It's running really well and it's kind of actually doing a really good job at uh really good job at doing its, you know, doing its thing here. I'm impressed. Thoroughly, actually. Thoroughly impressed. What I will say is I think that the GMC may be a little bit difficult to fit down a trail if it gets tight, but judging by the look of that thing, we could probably just smash through anything, you know, anything that we need to along our way anyway, so 
it doesn't really it doesn't really even matter. Um, at least in my opinion, it doesn't really even matter too much where we go with this because the GMC will probably be able to get to it and rescue it no matter what. So genuinely, uh, there's not much to worry about on that end or on that front. Put it back in automatic and see how it does in automatic. I'll see if it's... Oh, never mind. It shifted back down immediately. So the gearbox likes to get confused. High is... Wow, high is very high. Um, it basically jumped up the hill. Holy crap. That's... That's a little intense. See if we can... If we can aim it properly, then high is perfect for climbing hills. Just kind of scoots right up. That's not even a problem at all. Let me look at the map and see where we are, and then see where this goes. Oh, so literally, if we just turn right, that's the main road. I'm actually going to do that, because I kind of want to get back onto the main road, because I'm kind of done with that trail. Um, just because I was like, eh, that trail was fun, but it's main road for me. I don't know what's up here. Guess we're about to find out. I wonder if we put it in high, if we'll be able to get... Eh, we can just kind of, like, just go right along. <laughs> it maintains a decent pace. I'm impressed. That's pretty damn good. You got this little intersection right here on the map. It's kind of cool that they do that. A lot of a lot of spin tires maps don't really do that. So, so far... Is that a trail that... Well, no, not really. I'll check on the map. No, it, it not really. I mean, it could be... You could kind of consider it one, but it kind of isn't. It's weird though, too, because the like the map just kind of ends, or not the map, the the um the water just kind of ends right over there, so it's kind of awkward. I want to go down here and see what's down here, because when I explored this map with Jeep Guy, we didn't really take a look in in any of these other areas. We just kind of drove, we we kind of like drove the main trail, um, but we didn't really take a look into any of these kind of different areas of the map. So this, technically, I guess, is a trail. Get some grip. There you go. That rock traction fix really, like, it's so worth it. It does its work so well. Gonna work our way up the hill. Looks like it expands into a trail. It's just kind of really tight. It's not, um, it's not the most, uh, it's not the most well-marked trail, but... Hey, I will say, though, this thing really thoroughly impressed me. I mean, it's basically, if you think about what it actually is, it's basically like a Geo Tracker, And it's a Geo Tracker with a lift and some tires. And obviously, you know, a winch and some extra gear. But it even has some good flex to it. Like, it's no slouch. It's a decently good vehicle off-road. And it does, like, it does its job. Like, it goes where you point it, and it, it climbs anything you ask it to climb. So, before we go any further, though... Where are we at right now? We're right about back here. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to grab the GMC because it's like, you know, it's a monster and I want to see what it can do. Because we pretty much tested that, you know, we've tested the the Suzuki, the Geo, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, we already know what it can do. It's, it's, it's a badass. It's a little badass. So... We're going to see, I mean, this thing is not little by any means, you know, you're lucky if you can barely fit it down the trail, but to be brutally honest, I'm actually okay with it. I, I think that it's not, you know, some of the bigger trucks and spin tires are like, well, it's okay, but it's just too big and it kind of just, you know, its size gets in its way and it's just, it's, it's just kind of like a constant issue on the trails. I don't think so. I, I think that it's actually a decently, uh, decently well sorted vehicle and so far actually the automatic gearbox doesn't really have that many complaints it hasn't really it hasn't paused it hasn't tried to gear hunt it just kind of stays in second gear i mean it's like thing is a monster it stays in first and second i mean we're in the mud and it's just when it does change down to first it doesn't like sit there for 10 minutes while it tries to change down i mean not really 10 minutes but you know, even if it is sitting there for, like, a good 20 seconds, you know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, that's still, like, way too long, in my opinion. And this thing downshifted no problem right off the bat. We were stuck. I'm going to try and see if we can take a different line and get unstuck. 
What we were hitting was that tree. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use the winch, because we have one for a reason. And, I mean, I'm sure we could work out a line to get us out of there. But, honestly, I just kind of want to keep going on the trails and see how this thing does. This interior is pretty sparse. Yeah, that's, like, no. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to honk the horn. Oh, God, don't copyright me for the horn. Please. I've heard all about that. Please don't copyright me for the horn. Damn. I've heard about people getting copyrighted for that. It's weird. It's like, you wouldn't think people would, but they are. And on it, like, okay, where's the Suzuki? It's right up there. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna get back on the main road. We're gonna haul ass up there to the Suzuki. And by the way, let me just say, I love the coilovers on this thing. They look amazing. They're really well done. All right, we're gonna get out on the, uh, get out on the highway. The highway, holy shit, the highway? Well, you could consider this a highway from spin tires standards, I guess. Gonna throw it in high, get on the main trail, haul ass up to where the Suzuki is, and um, and at least tow it a little bit. I mean, we've got a freaking tow truck. We may as well, right? Let's see. Dive right down in here. Oh my god, I was really worried that this thing was gonna go over. I was genuinely concerned that it was flipping. Alright, time to put these 46-inch tires to use. Oh, yeah. They're not even, like, they're not even struggling. I mean, I would hope they wouldn't, but still. Here's where we see if this thing has any trouble fitting down a trail. Like, a tighter trail. Which it doesn't, really. I mean, the tires just kind of hop up on whatever they, whatever they need to. I love how it's all racing seats. Like, on the interior, by the way, it looks so good. All right, Suzuki, you're coming with me. We'll just imagine he broke down. I mean, that seems to be the best course of action. Okay, parking brake on, advanced mode. Towed by the rear bumper. We'll be fine. All right, let's see. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it to pull up off the ground, but it doesn't really it doesn't really want to. Regardless, though, it will pull it. <laughs> I don't even know where we're going, but it is pulling the Suzuki. Mm, it's having trouble pulling the Suzuki, actually. Hold up. Come on. Go this way. Go this way. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, dear. Well, uh... This will be the final test for both of these. Oh, yeah. No. No way. No way. Oh, my God. Yeah, we need to use these vehicles more in the future, but more on, like, in an adventure rather than a mod test. But both of them are really good, and I definitely want to use them again. So if you guys enjoyed this video and this mod test, don't forget to click the like button. Uh, both of these mods, if you want them, are available on the Steam Workshop. So subscribe for more if you want to see these videos in your inbox every single day, and I'll see you guys later. Talk to you in the next one.